what can I say? Uh, sand cut. You know, I was just on Amazon the other day and I know that they sell sand cut knives on Amazon. They don't go through regular retail network. This is part of Wee Knives, Civivi Knives, correct? So, sand cut. This is that. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Listen to this. It just said its name. Snap. And it is. It's the snap. It's the damn snap. Where does it say that? Snap. Okay, natural G10. I would want I wouldn't want it to be unnatural. I like natural. Yes, I'm all that. I'm the new green deal. See? Green. Green. Natural. I'm all I'm all PC'd up now. Um the snap. Cool looking design. I didn't know. I mean, I guess I need to, and I'm on Amazon on often enough, but when I'm on there, I need to check Sencut to see if they got any new models. So I saw this, and I'm going, pour it. And then I saw this, the episode. Okay, and this is available in my card as well as G10. So you know what? I just snapped this up too. Hold on. It was quite an episode on uh, Amazon. Okay, so the thing is, I'm thinking to myself, you know, 42 smackers, right? Um, check it out. Snap, 3.4, so this is a three and a half inch blade. Who's making that big a blade this year? It seems like this is the year of tiny, right? Like the Civivi baby banter. The banter's not small enough, we gotta go baby, right? Gotta go, you damn baby. So, and you can get it in other colors, burgundy, black, natural, whatever. So, 42 bucks, 40, yeah, right at 42. No discount codes on this one, buds. But the thing is, it seems like everything else is just going up and up. Don't you think? I mean... It sure seems like it to me. I mean, lots of knives are starting into the 60 something dollar range. And so 42 seems like a bargain. Now I'm a prime member, so I got free shipping on it too. And it's in stock. And so it just comes out of Amazon, boom, in my hands. It's not like it's coming from overseas. Okay, liner lock, check it out, okay. And of course, it's a 9CR18 MOV, which, you know, Civivi's done a bunch in that as well. But you know what? I just like this overall design. It's not, I mean, it's flat here. It's not contoured G10, but you know, for 42, I think it's, I think it's a pretty damn good deal. It feels good in the hand, very neutral through here, but just look at the blade shape. I mean, I really like that. I like the overall, it's a very, very simple flow on the design here. Got a little cutaway down here. Flipper tabs, pretty muted. Got some jimping up on top of here. Will the knife cut? Let me see. Well, let's, let's, there you go. There's your own picture, buddy. Let's see if you can cut it apart. Okay. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. First, you gotta learn how to cut. Okay, so yeah, it's it's pretty sharp right out of the box. Get out of here. Yeah, nice. Um, if anything, they didn't give you a lot of cut cut away here, so you gotta dig a little bit. You know what I mean? Breaker loose. Uh, it's pretty quick over the detent. So by the time that flipper tab hits you in the thumb, even if you're back a bit, it's over the detent. Design flow is nice. Blade to handle length is great. You know? Pocket clip. Flat screws. Easy to get. And then right or left hand, right? Right or left hand plus number eight, right? Number eights. Doing what, Sidi, what Civivi does, right? So what's the difference between this and Civivi? Go ahead and make that, I mean, go ahead and tell me in the comment section. You tell me. I mean, really, uh, here's a Civivi, but where? Here's a Civivi. 
the bow. This is contoured, but other than that, I mean, this is Nitro V. I get, I get it. You know, okay. But some of these things, you know, and the Civivi and the Nitro V, they're up to eighty something, ninety something dollars. Okay, I'll take nine CR for forty two. I'll take nine CR for forty two, Chuck. Behind curtain number two, you get the snap. Yes, yes, and I like it. I think that's a great look. That episode's not too shabby either. Ooh, that is. That I mean, you know what? I mean, the episode's not as snappy, but it's good looking, isn't it? And what does it weigh? Got to get on that snap, don't you? Okay. Hell of a name. I can't believe nobody's used that before. 107 grams. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, that's not very heavy at all, is it? 3.77 ounces for a pretty good size knife. Where are you, Arctic Storm? Come here, baby. Okay, paramilitary two. Check it out. Ooh, we running. We running nose to nose. By the way, this is just slightly more expensive, I would say. Come on, honey. But you're okay with me. Now. Since that one, my storm there is uh, eight and a quarter overall. Whoosh, we close. You know, we're just a nose hair difference in length and nose hair. 20 and a half centimeters. And, you, you know, I mean, kick it down here. Where are we? Three and three quarter to the back of the choil. And then as we climb up the bolster, of course, we're three and a half at 90 uh, millimeters but down here you argue 95 that's why this knife seems kind of big to me because it you know I mean well and also take note you know what do you got for cutting length three and a half inches not just three and a half long but three and a half inches cutting length okay yeah that's not bad that's a heavy stone wash isn't it but this also you know, I, I just, just you can carry, go, whatever, and this natural G10, well, you know what's going to happen to this. It's going into my dye pot. Whenever I do my dye video, and it's, it'll be another week or so, and I'll do that. And I've got some other knives in natural G10 I'm going to throw in. But I'm definitely, and this and the crit, where's the crit? Oh, it's around here. But, yeah, it's going to go in the dye. And, uh... This is just so nice and easy to do that. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with natural G10 either. No backspacer. Look at the standoffs. They look pretty hardy. And of course, this looks like uh, for your lanyard as well. Uh, your lockup is, that's, that's, that's pretty thick. That's 35 to 40, arguably. Um, yeah, it's still a little thin on that pass through, but okay. Um, you know, it's doable. It's doable. It's centered. No blade player lock rock. Uh, what about the detent? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's about right. If I can turn it that way and throw it out after some effort, then it's kind of in the sweet spot that I like. Okay. Nice. I mean, everything's rounded and deburred and stuff. You know, I mean, this is as good a fit and finish as a Civivi knife, okay? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a no fail, isn't it? Let's try and fail it again. Oh, no, that's nice, that's nice. That, where they got it is fine, is fine. You know what, this, and any of you guys got the Civivi Relic, that new one that came out? I posted a video on that. This reminds me a lot of that, except this is way cheaper. You know, but about the same size, isn't it? That This one's a Haas. This is cool. Uh, nothing fancy about the hardware, but not bad. I mean, number eight, you know, like I said, flat screws on the deep carry clip, reversible, good texturing on the G10, fit and finish is good, solid lockup, uh, centered, you know. Uh, what can I say? 
you know it's good all the way around check it out take a look closely if you will if I didn't give you you know I keep I keep flipping things around but if I can give you a slow rotisserie on it where everything is and look at how you know on some of the knives they've what they've done is they had three screw holes here you know one two and then the third one was underneath that went through this standoff it was underneath the back of the pocket clip but the pocket clip had two screws so there was actually three in a row you ever seen any of my videos uh, where I disassemble that that happens see look at this though and I always was saying you could just instead of putting the pocket clip here and here since you're gonna have a screw here for the standoff why don't you just move the deep carry up a little higher and get rid of one of those screw holes and what did they do what did they do they must be listening that's almost scary um, but that's a great idea they eliminated a screw hole and but I, but I did say it's gonna make it a deeper carry uh, let me see oh okay so good point here see the bow there's a screw under here and these two screws see how it's not as deep carry okay and I was always saying get rid of this first screw hole use these next two and just back it up a little bit what did they do see the difference in how deep it is before I cut myself and do stuff see that and they did they made it a deeper carry God, I'm glad I'm so brilliant um, <laughs> don't tell my wife um, but yeah so ace is up ace is up now put a damn backspacer on it oh okay well it's 42 bucks what can I say okay what do we got what do we got uh which way do i want to go with this I i'm going to go from the back side take my chances okay well this works so let's see if the rest of this is going to we got one body screw and then we got a pocket clip when one of those screws goes into the standoff because they must have listened to me push and turn push and turn on the number sixes they always make me nervous always worried about rounding them out because they're so small okay so one screw ought to be longer than the other because one's going into the standoff and one's just going into the liner and yes that is the case okay so and then now everything's coming apart and where did I just throw that damn screw Woo! I knocked that baby clear across there okay there's your natural g10 and the rest of this is going to come apart i imagine pretty quick <clears throat> okay so they've skeletonized the liner here a bunch haven't they ceramic detent ball C ceramic okay okay so their ultra bargain brand still has ceramic ceramic bearings i mean what are you missing that was my question earlier right what are you missing nice polished no edginess uh, liners skeletonized check this out really clean on the inside okay I mean that's easy right there you know what they didn't do let me see let me take a closer look yeah okay so on the Civivi they have a little notch under the cap here because they do have a logo that they have to locate right and so it fits into a notch that they mill here so it and also will hold this in place when you're unscrewing it from the backside this does not so this technically could turn around and round and round if you get too much thread locker when you put the screw in from the other side um, you know you'll turn this whole thing now on the other hand and they've redeemed themselves because they have a number eight so you can hold this side while you break the other side loose 
with this, okay? Whereas on the Civivi ones, there is no way to do that. So they do have the notch. So they've thought that one out. That's good. Okay. Let's put bearings on here. And, you know, taking it apart was a snap. <laughs> Going to get hurt here pretty soon. But, and let's put this back in before I cut my damn finger off. And throw this on here. And put some more go-go juice on. And, uh, all right, come on, come on. Sit down on there. So we got our little lanyard pin down here and the standoff and it's looking good. I don't see a problem yet. And so we got the screw coming in the backside. And then all we have is a body screw and a pocket clip to do. So I'll be interested in seeing comments on whether you guys think uh, the snap, you know, what you think of the design or, you know, kind of give your opinion on it. And then I'll ignore your opinion, of course, if I don't like it. So not a problem there. And come on. Let's get in here. Okay, it did. I thought, what? Oh, turning something? Nope. It found it. Okay, so these two, settle these little buggers down in here. Come on, come on, come on. Stay in your place. So this one's got to go into the standoff. And before I tighten that down too far, I'm going to get onto this one and get this one into that liner. And we'll finish this one off. Okay. So it should be centered, and it is. Any blade plate? No, because I usually, when I usually line these babies up, I usually put probably more pressure on that, on that pivot screw than I should. And I probably have. Okay. But we can tell, I mean, we can see this migrate see how it's off center and as I tighten it I want it centered but I don't want it much more than that and as long as there's no play and the drop is good so I'm good there you go it said its name again snap yeah I think um, you know and you could probably do that is Give yourself a little bit more of a pass through if you want to, if you're into doing things like that. Um, because yeah, that, that's it's not as easy to disengage as I would like it to be, but it's doable. The snap from Sencut. They're doing some new designs now, so I'm gonna try and keep up on that. That in the episode, huh? Pretty cool. I'll leave you to it. Thank you so much. Have a great one. We do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.